loan officer working with somebody on getting a house, okay, getting a mortgage. So there's certain conditions about that mortgage. You know, we got to, like, the people giving the loan need to make sure that they're not putting themselves at risk by giving somebody, you know, something that makes an average salary. They want to buy a $2 million home, probably not going to make the payments, right? So the first question on this problem says, how much should their down payment be? The house is 170000 And then it says you need one-fifth of the market value as a down payment. So you can just multiply the total cost of the house by one-fifth. And then if you read that left to right, 170000 times one divide five. That's 34000 and they need $34,000 for a down payment. Part B says, what is the amount of the mortgage for which they are applying? Now, the house is $170,000, but they're going to come to the table with $34,000. So the mortgage is going to be the total cost of the home subtracted by the down payment. Subtract those two numbers. $136,000. That's the mortgage that they're going to be applying for. And then part C says your bank offers the Brady's a 30-year mortgage with a 5% interest rate. Uh, you actually don't need to use the 5% part, okay? Okay, so uh, they said, what is the amount of the principal and interest portion of the payment? You get that from using this right here, $5.37 for every $1,000 finance, okay? Look up here, this is how much we're financing. That's how much loan that this family is gonna take out, 136,000. So there's $136,000 of financing. So for this question, what you have to do is take the 136 and multiply it to $5.37. $730.32. Okay, so just repeating that real quick. $136,000 financed. So they told us it's $5.37 every time you go up $1,000 of financing. We've got $136,000 of financing. So it should be 136 times $5.37. Okay. D says, what is the total amount of interest paid on the loan? So here, if we're paying them $730.32 per month, that's for 12 months out of a year for 30 years. So if you multiply those two together, $262,915.20 that's going to be paid throughout the course of this loan. But look, the house, the loan was originally for $136,000. So the interest, how much we paid, subtracted by how much we owed them. We have to subtract those two numbers. This is how much we ended up paying at the end of the 30 years. Subtract that by how much we took the loan out for. This is $126,915.20 interest. Then part E says your bank also requires that the monthly mortgage payments include property tax and homeowner's insurance. So right now, we're paying $730.32 a month, but then they want us to add in the tax and insurance. So they tell us how much the taxes and insurance are per year. We want to find out how much it is per month. Tax per month is 1,710 divided by 12, because we want to split that instead of years, we want that to be in terms of months. Add an extra number. That's $142.50 per month for taxes. And then the insurance, 1,458 divided by 12. That's $121.50 per month for the insurance. So 
what's our total monthly payment with all this stuff rolled together? Here's the principal and interest that we had in part C plus the taxes per month plus the interest per month. Add those together. $994.32. Okay. And part F says to qualify for a loan, the bank rules state that mortgage payments cannot exceed one fourth of the combined monthly income of the family. So the Bray's earning, earning $3,750 per month. Let's find out what one fourth of that income is like we did in the first part. Okay, so you multiply by one, then divide by four. Doing that left to right. Looks $937.50. So that's how much they could afford per month according to this one fourth criteria. The loan is $994, so no, they do not qualify. This is a fourth of their income. This is how much it would cost per month. So according to the bank, they don't qualify. So what monthly income would be required to qualify for this size mortgage payment? Uh, this mortgage payment is $994.32. We want to multiply that by four. That way, a fourth of our income is met by the criteria. So you're taking your answer in part E and multiplying it by four. So a person would have to make $3,977.28 per month to qualify for this size mortgage payment. Okay, and that's it. That's a rough approximation of the calculation.